Before creating a complex custom line type, you will draw a simple object and define it as a custom shape. Go ahead and draw a circle of arbitrary size on the screen. Then use the Polygon tool here in the Draw Panel Flyout under the Rectangle and create a polygon with five sides. So type 5 Enter and then specify the center of the polygon at the center of the circle. Then use the default option Inscribed in Circle by pressing Enter and then click up here at the quadrant at the top of the circle to complete the polygon, which in this case is a now a pentagon. Then go ahead and draw a line across here and just go ahead and draw a five-pointed star. Then erase the pentagon. Use the Trim tool and press Enter to select all the edges as cutting edges and then cut away each one of these inner segments so that you're left with a five-pointed star inside a circle. Let's define the star as a custom shape. To do that, we'll load the Express Tools. So type Express Tools, all one word, and press Enter. This loads the Express Tools tab on the ribbon. Select it. Go over here to the Tools slide out and open it. Then click Make Shape. You're prompted to select the shape file. Now you could create your own custom shape file, but I advise against it. It's better to select AutoCAD's default shape file. And this way you can use this shape in a custom line type. Let's locate this. Open the drop down here. Go to C, Program Files, Autodesk, locate your version, in this case I'm using AutoCAD 2013, and then double click on Support, and in this folder you'll find the L-type SHP.SHP file. Select it and click Save. Choose Yes when you're prompted if you want to replace it. Actually, what's happening here is the Express tool will append the new shape definition to this file. So the information in the file that's already there won't be lost. On the command line, it says enter the name of the shape. I'll type star in capital letters. Enter. Enter resolution. I'll just accept the default, which is 128. Press Enter. Specify insertion base point. That's going to be the center of the circle. And then select objects. I'll select all of these lines with a crossing window and press enter. Now it says use the shape command to place shapes in your drawing. Let's try that. Type shape, enter. Enter shape name or question mark. I'll use the question mark and press enter. And then it says enter shape names to list star. I'll press enter to list all of the shapes that are currently in that file. You can see its full path here. And you can see there are only a few shapes that have been defined and star is now one of them. So let's insert the star and make sure that it works. Shape, enter, and then type star, enter. Click and then the height will be 1. I'll just hit enter to accept the default height and the rotation angle will be 0 so I'll press enter again. So this object is a shape. So we've successfully created a custom shape. In this video you use the MK Shape Express tool to create a custom shape in AutoCAD standard line type shape definition file.